In 2019 too, we see the addition of some really useful enhancements to how dashboards work with containers. To show you this, I've opened up the sample workbook in Tableau. Now, typically what you'd have to do, if you wanted a section of this dashboard to appear and disappear, you'd need to really understand how layout containers work really, really well. And you'd have to set up sort of collapsing containers but even collapsing containers still leave a very small gap, about two or three pixel gap. And so it's not quite as good as a container that it can appear and disappear completely. So to show you how to do this, I'm going to make this side menu here on the right hand side uh, into a show and hide uh, side menu. To do this, you have to make the container that contains the objects, the filter and the legend, a floating container. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we've done that, uh, we get this option on the right hand side carrot to add a show and hide button. Let me just zoom in on that so you can see that more clearly. And when we click on that option, you'll see we get this little cross. Now initially, if you just uh, click on that without doing anything on your keyboard, then nothing will happen. That's because you're not in a preview mode. However, if you hold option or alt and click on it, then you actually get the simulation of a click. So now you can see what that's doing. And the idea is that if you're in a you know, full on use of the dashboard, you can actually use this to show and hide items that you might want to um, change. And you know the, the preferences you choose inside of the filters remain when the option is hidden away. So it's a really nice way of getting space back on the dashboard and creating a much, much more efficient use of space. Now, just before I finish this video, I'd like to really call out some absolutely great examples in the community. So Mark Reed, um, he's a, a consultant and he's got some really, really good sample workbooks on his profile. But one in particular on 2019.2, he's got some really good examples of how you can use this. So if I click on this play button, you'll see that he's actually hidden an entire chart and he's got some really sort of nice uh, interactivity here where he's actually changing the chart type as you click through these options. Uh, he's also got this really nice example of an overlay sheet. Now this is really useful when you want to show people how a dashboard works. When I click on the information icon, it actually shows an overlay on top of the uh, dashboard, which shows you how everything works. When you click on it again, it disappears. And then you get your menu here on the right hand side, exactly the same way as I did in the Tableau workbook. So I definitely encourage you to look at content out in the community whenever new versions of Tableau come out. You get absolutely stunning examples like this one um, of how to use the new features. If you found this video useful, hit subscribe. Otherwise, if you have some comments or you have some suggestions for videos, leave them in the comments and I'll try and get round to those videos.